I'll be honest, there really hasn't been anything new in Modern Warfare for a while. So long, in fact, that we're pushing the two-month mark. On the 18th, it will be two months since the launch of Shipment and Vacant, our last two maps that we saw within Modern Warfare with Season 1, which we know we won't get to that mark since Season 2 launches in just under a week's time, bringing the promise of new maps, new operators, new battle pass content, new weapons, and the whole lot. But in the meantime, that doesn't change the fact that there really hasn't been much new. But surprisingly, I think that I've probably played the most that I have since launch the last few weeks, when there really wasn't anything new outside of a new playlist or two. And the reasoning for that is my interest in Damascus camo, the dark matter level equivalent weapon camo in Modern Warfare, which we've talked about a couple of times here in passing since launch. But today, as I'm on that road to now maybe about halfway through it, the grind to Damascus, I'd figured that I'd share some tips on that second step after gold. Gold is relatively easy with one weapon. The next step is platinum, mastering an entire weapon class. So today, I wanted to give you some tips to make platinum camo easy for those who are either want some degree of completion or mastery mastery, or perhaps you're like me on the way to Damascus camo, but maybe finding it hard to get to it. Today, I want to share those tips on what has exponentially helped me out on my own grind during this time. So that said, let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything that you would add to this list of tips? And as well, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're ramping up towards season two, and of course, we'll keep you up to date and we'll have tons of stuff you don't want to miss. So make sure you're subscribed and here for all of it. But anyways, let's dive into it. First thing first, when talking about platinum camo, you want to focus on the class that you want to unlock it for. Pick the class you want, or perhaps the order in which you want to do them in. I know that Damascus isn't for everyone, it's a painful, tedious grind, but perhaps you just want to master a class and don't really care about the other ones. To me, I think the easiest classes to max out and to get Platinum on would be the SMGs, LMGs are probably the easiest in my opinion, and then the shotguns are up there as well. Simply because some of these have simpler challenges, and also, there's not as many weapons within some of these classifications as well. LMGs and shotguns only have four weapons per classification. Sure, you have things like your snipers and your marksman rifles with three, but those actually are combined. We have to get both of those classifications done before we get platinum. Launchers only have four, but those are absolute hell. And you start to see where it comes down to, again, those kind of being the easiest ones. SMGs, while they are not necessarily the shortest in terms of the amount of weapons in that category, to me, I think they're probably some of the most versatile and still some of the weapons I breezed through the easiest here out of what I've completed so far. And once we talk about about maps here later on in the video about what you'll play you'll understand as to why they can be so easy to complete and you can knock out two three maybe even four in a day depending on how much time you put in and how efficient you can be with the challenges but things like your rifles though they're the dominant weapon class within modern warfare they have a much higher level count compared to the classes in the other categories of play just under 20 levels more on average plus there's also the most weapons in that class that you'll need to get gold for with eight at the base since you don't need to complete the ram seven for platinum not to mention their challenges in my opinion, are also the most tedious. It's not even that they're tough, but they just require a lot of time to play. Like the FAL, for my example, that's the last thing I need before Platinum with the rifles. But I've already done a hefty majority of the challenges to finish up that FAL, but I still have over 400 kills remaining on that default challenge of just simply getting kills with the weapon. It's just a tedious amount, whereas every other classification is about half of that, meaning that I could have been done by that point. But the first real big tip outside of choosing what class you want to go for is to rank up your weapon first. If you've paid attention to the camo challenges at all within Modern Warfare, you know that there's an entire gauntlet of weapon camos. Spray paint, woodland, digital, dragon, splinter, topo, tiger, stripes, reptile, and skulls. Those categories produce a 100 camo gauntlet that you have to complete through 100 different challenges, or I guess 90 because you end up having an unlocked base camo for each category. But even while those take time, that's not the most tedious part. The most tedious part is actually just ranking up the weapons. The max case, upwards of level level 71 with the M4A1. While not every weapon has that many ranks, a lot fall within the 50s, there's still a hefty amount of time that it'll take to rank up each weapon. My absolute best tip that I can give you to tackle this actually works in your favor right now. Play with double weapon XP active and rank your weapons up first and foremost. I say it works in your favor right now because as for the end of season one here, we actually have going on a current extended triple threat event filled out with double XP, double weapon XP, and double tier progression for anyone who may not be completely done with season one's rank or battle pass content. This is the best chance all season that you'll have to do this stuff as it's an extended weekend in a sense, even though it's only Wednesday, so almost even an entire week. For the next five days and a few hours in change, you can 
take advantage of this and you can bet your bottom I'm taking this one all the way to the house. The absolute best way to expedite your camo grind process from my experience is to take advantage of these double weapon XP and max out every weapon that you have the opportunity to do so with. What I do and what I would highly recommend is use one or two weapons exclusively. Two for the sake of if a map plays really different in terms of play styles compared to another one you may be on. So one or two weapons and max them out before changing weapons. Just use them, run them through, and complete them. If you can focus on the camo tier challenges inside those ranks, that's an absolute great kill two birds with one stone moment, but the ability to unlock those challenges as fast as possible in the long run will help you more than anything else. You can max them out, move on to the next weapon, max that out move on to another weapon and repeat that process as many times as you can in a double weapon xp event and the rest of the stuff is an absolute breeze for example the skulls camo which is the last camo tier that you have here unlocked it's what you get for unlocking and maxing out your weapon those camo challenges unlocked that's usually three kills without dying a max of 25 times before you complete the entire tier and category that will take a very short period of time to complete especially if you say play on shipment and when you consider that streaks stack so three accounts for one of those challenges, a six kill streak counts for two, nine counts for three, and so on. You'll be able to blow by these, but the process of getting there is actually the longest. So don't worry so much about the actual challenges as opposed to simply getting as many weapons ranked up as possible, then go back and do those challenges. I'm not entirely sure if it's patched yet, at one point, though, double weapon XP tokens actually used to stack, whereas you could artificially make a quad XP multiplier. They weren't supposed to do that, but they did. But I don't know if they do for this time, so I wouldn't waste them if you actually use your tokens. If you're like me and don't use them, I just never remember that I have them. Maybe you could test one out, and if you burn one, you burn one. But if it actually works, well, that's obviously a cool result. But one final thing talking about the double weapon XP is to tackle the harder weapons first. Your launchers, your melees, your pistols, perhaps. That stuff is what I would definitely recommend getting out while you have the opportunity as well, because they are absolute hell without any modifiers. They take so long to rank up. But outside of that, let's talk about things not necessarily dependent on double weapon XP. What maps should you be playing on? Firstly, I think that shipment is 1000% that go-to you should be going for. If there's shipment 24-7, play it. Rank up your weapons, do as much as you can in that time. It will 100% be worth it. As you guys know, I'm primarily a ground war main, but shipment has, as of recently, especially being on the camo grind, been something that I've 100% gravitated towards and I would not swap out for anything. You can get so many weapons done here in this. You can get your launchers, you can get your melees, you can get your SMGs, your rifles, your shotguns by all means. The only ones that I think may actually be a little bit tougher, but are still really manageable, is that of your LMGs just because of the ADS times, but you can still make that work. Ground War is also decent because it's a little bit more of a controlled chaos when handled properly. You can end up picking off players that won't really engage with you because they may not know exactly where you're at if you stick to the perimeter, or if you go on flanks, there's just so many other people they have to be conscious of that pay Paying attention to them, maybe that one out of 32 that's on the flank might not be their top priority. So maps 100% shipment, definitely go with that one, but I'd play ground war outside of that. As for modes, I used to be ground war again for that reasoning that we just mentioned. It was a really big controlled chaos situation. It was a fantastic option for long shots. Given the sake of the length of each map, it was fantastic for that. But honestly, I've kind of now again shifted to shipment 24 seven when it's there, but hardcore is also definitely a solid option. You can pick off a lot more long shots with your rifles, SMGs, whatever it may be. You can end up getting kills done a lot quicker because it's a one hit kill in almost every gunfight. But one thing that you'll definitely run into is a lot of people just not moving. That was my biggest thing and why I didn't like it as much. It was definitely advantageous to get weapons and camo challenges done but it wasn't my favorite cup of tea. So I guess it really comes down to the balance here with that one, what you guys want to see out of it. But shipment 24-7 is 100% one that you should capitalize on. And again, how convenient it's out there right now for the rest of season one and with double weapon XP attached to it. So take advantage of that 100%. The final thing that I really want to say here with this is simply be efficient. That's the other biggest tip that I can give you guys here with this one. Be focused, go for challenges consciously. Know what you're going to go for and know how many you have left. Me personally, I have my monitor that I play on PlayStation 4 right next to my PC monitors. So I have a notepad document up that I'll jot down how many things I need left of say long shots, how many kills I need with all attachments 
performance, all that kind of stuff. I'll have right there and I can just glance over and see, okay, I need to do this after I do this. And so it keeps me more focused and I can just breeze through those. Another thing that I would definitely say for efficiency wise is to tackle multiple challenges in singular gunfights. If you can crouch and hip fire, do it. If you can mount and get those long shots, do it. Three kill streaks with no attachments, you got both of those done at the same time. All attachments and headshots, that list could go on and on. The only one that I really wish I could do simultaneously, because they always seem to be the ones that I just have remaining at the end of weapons, and I can't get them to work together, is the crouched and the mounting kills. Now, you actually can go into a crouched mount in game, but it will only then count as a mounted kill, not as both. But whereas you can actually double up on these challenges, maybe even in some cases triple up on them if you crouch and hip fire and have all attachments, well, do it. Do as much as you can to make the process simpler and be consciously aware of what you're going for. That's the biggest thing. One other thing that I guess necessarily isn't a full-on tip because it's dependent on the game kind of being broken is be conscious of some shortcuts. Off the top of my head, I don't have any right now, but every so often there'll be, say, a launcher challenge that will count, say, maybe personal UAVs and counters as ground streaks. Know that stuff when they pop up so that you can take those little shortcuts that really isn't harmful to anything and it's not a glitch that will get you banned or anything like that but it will help you get those challenges that are really tough to do and really tedious it'll help you get them done a little quicker but ultimately that's my tips here with platinum and what i've found so far to really work in the favor of the player so that's where we're gonna wrap it up i hope this helped you out in some way shape or form i really do hope that this can help you out on your grind so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like down below and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things in modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we get you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit subscribe and so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with us on youtube practically live on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later best of luck on platinum and ultimately damascus i'll see you guys take care and peace